this video, we cover in simple terms our views on squash athlete testing and initial planning. In the first episode, we listed the topics, and this is the third of seven in the series. We will look at what and how to test, how we interpret test results, and come up with an initial fitness training plan. And during the video, we'll demonstrate a simple club test we run as an example. In our previous video, we looked at our three box model. We want to know an athlete's aerobic base and their ability to change direction powerfully, as well as multi-multi-sprint. A test is only useful if we know how to score it, so we need to have, or intend to have, lots of results from different sex, age and ability. In running the tests, we require 100% consistency of equipment and conditions to be fair to athletes. We like to video the test to help with technique and to call out the cheaters and we can use the video to improve timing accuracy. Once we've undertaken the test, we have to interpret the results to extract meaning from them. What sex is the athlete? How old? What is their biological age? And what is their squash experience? Knowing the athlete's goals, not their parents, is critical in assessing and delivering results. We record results in a database and email a table of those results to the athlete, parents and coaches with our opinion of where they sit in their peer group. We also make note of any soft information that comes from the tests. Most athletes have difficulty accepting a result that is below expectation. We expect this, but some athletes ignore or fight the conclusions for longer, and we prefer to dissociate from this group. Throughout this video we have young pro Bember taking modified versions of our basic club test. The first test is a max ramp watt bike test that we like for a proxy VO2. Club athletes do an easier sub max version. The athlete can't hide on this test or short run a leg. The press up is a simple max press ups to a metronome. Athletes are stopped when they can't keep up before muscular failure. The change of direction test is particularly irritating. Results improve a lot with practice. Finally the 3 minute plank. These tests aren't perfect and astute viewers will note there is no multi-sprint test. However, we have found them useful and they give us a good body of data to rank club athletes relative to their age, sex and grade and they can be completed in a relatively short time. We look at more detailed planning later in this series. The purpose in this section is to use the test results to set the shape of the fitness program. For example, an athlete that has a low score in VO2 and wishes to make selection for the national junior team for Worlds in three months, will have a very different program from a 13-year-old looking for long-term squash-specific strength development. The fitness goals come after the results report has been digested, where we look at these areas that require the most attention, making sure that we maintain levels in areas of strength. We select appropriate exercises and sessions and have a look at the overall frequency and volume necessary to achieve the improvements targeted. I cover the concept of true volume in a separate bonus video. Finally, we agree a testing and review program. Please contact me or comment on this video if you have any questions or views on the contents. Please like these videos and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow Squash Excel on social media, come to one of the camps at Excel, or contact us for remote fitness coaching.